Welcome back, everyone. Lori Peterson was one of the original stars of the mega-hit reality show, The Real Housewives of Orange County. But now her life's focus is on her son. You see, he's in jail, awaiting trial for attempted murder. And Lori is wrestling with how far one takes a mother's love. Watch. She was known as the rags to riches housewife. We want to do Maldives, Bali, Singapore, maybe Dubai or something. Lori Peterson went from down and out divorcee to wealthy newlywed during her four seasons on The Real Housewives of Orange County. I'm living the OC lifestyle again. I feel like royalty. But behind the gates, Lori was dealing with devastating family drama. Her teenage son, Josh Waring, was struggling with drug addiction and facing trouble with the law. Josh is going that way when we want him to go this way. And knowing that that way is dangerous and a path that's really destructive, you know, I had to ask Josh to leave my house. In 2008, Lori decided to leave the show to focus on her family, but Josh's problems continued. Over the last 10 years, he has battled a heroin addiction, multiple arrests, and drug charges. In 2016, Josh was arrested and charged with three counts of attempted murder. This after a shooting in Costa Mesa, California. Josh is currently awaiting trial, and if convicted, he could face a life sentence. All along, Josh has maintained his innocence, and Lori is on a mission to set him free. Please help me welcome Lori Peterson. Good morning to you. It's one thing to see it spelled out like that in that taped piece we just did. It's, it's quite another to see your son slipping away little by little mm -hmm. by little thanks to drugs right. and addiction. What, do you remember the first sign of trouble? There'll be a lot of moms out there wondering, what, what were the first signs? You know, I think I, the first signs were um, when we were going through our divorce. And I felt that the happy Josh, uh, the kid that was always the center of attention, I felt like he was withdrawing and getting quieter and kind of pulling away. How old was he then? I would say 14, 15. Okay. And um, he started smoking marijuana. And I just feel that that was just the path down. It was a downward spiral at that point. When you first found out that he was using heroin, what was your reaction? No, oh, it's just been devastating. It's tragic. I mean, this doesn't happen in families like ours that I thought. Um, now I've educated myself on Addiction, which is something that I never thought I would have to do, but it's, there's no boundaries to it. Yep. But it's, it's heartbreaking, and, and I'm completely powerless to do anything for him. So it escalates, um, and he starts going in and out of the court system some 30 times. Mm -hmm. And w that was the case when you went on the cast of Real Housewives. So what was your thinking there? Because I think a lot of people would have been like, I don't need that added level of scrutiny on my family. Well, I think when we did The Housewives, I was an original. So um, I was just going through a divorce. And Josh's issues, I just didn't understand where they were going at that point. I didn't, you know, I was told by psychologists that, you know, this is just it's, it's something that boys go through with a divorce and that it was pretty normal. Um, I didn't realize his addiction was as great as it was until after the show, after I had resigned. Um, you know, it just, I think doing a reality show, you're supposed to be transparent and you do good and, and you film the bad as well. You have to show it all to be effective. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, because the bad was with Josh, that's why I did step away. Mm -hmm. I felt like he was, uh, at that point, he had just turned 18. And I mean, I didn't want his future to be, uh, you know, put out there and, um, Dissected, right, well, by the public. Well, dissected by the public, moment and by I was moment. trying to protect him a little bit from the media. Do you, do you regret doing that? Do you rep, regret being on the show? I don't regret doing the show at all. It was fun. Our family enjoyed it at all. Um, it, it was really, at the beginning, was just a simple docu-soap, you know, showing our careers, our families, our social life, and it was completely innocent. Um, as the show progressed and uh, things, it got more about fighting, I felt like that was out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And then with Josh's issues on, on top of that, it was just time for me to leave. I really wanted to step back and focus on the family. So he, he gets a arrested, and we'll get into the alleged crime in a minute, but charged with uh, attempted murder, three counts of attempted mm -hmm. murder. And you, you had done a lot to try to help him and so on prior to that point. Mm -hmm. But they set bail at a million dollars. And that's where you said, I'm not doing that. 
Right. I'm, I'm, I refuse to help with that. Why? My commitment with Josh from day one when he started using drugs is I will back you financially for anything that you need for rehabilitation. But um, we all know that addicts, there's a criminal element to it, just purchasing drugs and possessing drugs. They're, it's a criminal act. So with that, of course, he's been arrested many times. And I told him I, I won't help with that. But if he's ready to get clean, I will put whatever funds into that. Mm -hmm. And that's my commitment. And I struggle with that. Um, and in this situation especially, I looked at that and he was really spiraling at a really low point, and I felt like actually being incarcerated might help him get right. sobered up. How long has he been behind bars? Almost two and a half years. So is he, do you believe he's clean and sober He is now? clean, but he has only been clean for a year. It took him... Because they can find drugs in, oh yeah, in jail. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's unbelievable, right? I mean, you'd think... Of, uh, there'd be some place that where your child could be. That's like the one comfort mm -hmm. uh, for an addict's family when they mm -hmm. go to jail. Yeah. And yet it's false. It is very false. So um, because Josh found strength and resilience and he was able to, without any help, with a jail, he hasn't been given any rehabilitation, um, nothing but strength from himself, he's really invested himself into this case and studied and studied and studied. And, and it's really given him a purpose. For, so for the silver lining is that he is sober. Welcome back, everyone. We're here today with Lori Peterson, one of the original stars of the reality TV show Real Housewives of Orange County. Her son, Josh Waring, is accused now of attempted murder. But Lori claims there is evidence that shows her son is innocent. She's back with me along with Josh's lawyer, Joel Garson. Welcome to you, Joel, as well. Thank you. So he, he, what happened was he was going to this sort of, they call it a flop house, right, where the drugs are sold Drug one crash. night. Mm -hmm. uh, and there was an altercation. And he is accused of having returned hours later, uh, one in the morning, and opening fire on mm -hmm. residents of that house. Right. There, he was there in a white BMW. Another guy named Gerstein was there in a, in a white car, in, in a blue, blue car, car, in a blue car, mm -hmm. Goldstein. Um, and, and there's a question about who fired the shots. There's no question fi shots were fired. And one man was hit, but lived. Um, the question is, did the shots come from the blue car, which were, was driven by Goldstein, Goldstein, or the white car, which was driven by Josh, right? Right. Okay. And so I should just start with this. I want to tell the audience up front that the DA's office, we spoke with them, and they wanted us to know, first and foremost, there is evidence we haven't been able to present yet because we haven't been in front of the jury. We have to be respectful to the process, so we can't have NBC come in to look at everything, which makes sense. This thing may go to trial within a couple of months. Right. And so what, let me ask you as the lawyer, Joel, what is your best piece of evidence that Josh did not do this? The guy that was shot, Danny Lopez, said, I am 100 percent sure that the shots came from the blue car. And he was interviewed four different occasions and every single time said it was the blue car. And the police even tried to get him to say, well, couldn't it have been the white car? Are you sure? Couldn't it have been that car? No, it was definitely the blue car. Now, he, he has since recanted that statement and now says, no, it was the white car. He filed a civil lawsuit naming jo Josh as his shooter. Um, and then the prosecution points out there are two other witnesses who say it was definitely Josh Waring in the white car. The two witnesses, um, we believe, were not even uh, in a place where they could see where the shots were fired. The first per witness who says it was the white car was a guy who had come earlier and started the fight with Josh the couple hours earlier, uh, punched the BMW he was in and threw some girl's uh, cell phone in the street. He and Josh have not gotten they didn't along, get along as at point. all. But, now, but that, is, it, is it true that there's a hospital interview transcript showing the victim identifying his shooter as having been in the BMW, which was Josh's car? No. 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 In the hospital, Danny Lopez says it was definitely the white car. Okay. Never wavered. And, now, and he's not even on the DA witness list. They're not even calling him to testify. The victim. The right. victim. Right. Can I ask you this? One of the problems in this whole case um, for the prosecution, and maybe for you too, is that the people involved are, you know... Addicts. Addicts. Mm -hmm. And as we all know, addicts lie, and they certainly lie when the police are involved and when they have drugs on them and they have different yes. loyalties and maybe they have a charge they're trying to get reduced. Mm -hmm. How 
Do you account for that? GSR, though. There was GSR gunshot then. residue. Yes, gunshot residue. My son was tested immediately, um, and they tested his hands, his clothes, his hair, and video surveillance showed him in the same clothing that he was in prior to the shooting when they picked him up. Um, he had no GSR on him whatsoever. So they did test him, they and tested they didn't him. find gunshot they residue on him. They did not test Brian Goldstein. And the guy he, who drove the, guy the blue car. The drove the blue car. Nor did they test the driver's side of the blue car, which is where the victim said he was shot from the driver's side of the blue car. Oh, wait, but let me ask you this, because the prosecution says that the, that forensic evidence does show gun residue in your son Josh's car. They say that your son's DNA is on bullet casings consistent with the gun used in the shooting. So well, the gunshot residue that was in Josh's car was on the passenger side and Goldstein was with Josh earlier that evening during the first event and Goldstein sat in that same seat. But the, the bullets hadn't been fired yet at that point. Well, the bullets are were, bullets are separate as far as the gunshot residue. It's where Goldstein was. The yeah, but but, said, even, but when he had been in Josh's car earlier, the incident hadn't yet occurred. He carries a gun. Yeah. He, and, and throughout his history, he has a criminal violent history. Throughout his history, he if, and through testimony in court, he says that he always has a loaded weapon in his waistband everywhere he's, he goes. He's been arrested five times where he was in possession of a gun. So how do you like your chances? How do you I like your chances a, at I trial? think it's a great case. I've been doing this for 29 years, and I have never seen this kind of uh, police... Um, incompetence to be to put it nicely but to be more cynical intentional uh, deviation from the truth and, well we'll uh, see well you'll, you'll get your day in court and, and, yes. and a jury will get to decide this having heard all the evidence which right. we obviously cannot present here on this right. you know five minute exchange yeah. can i ask you just one final question though Lori? given our discussion about addiction and and the fact that he did get clean in prison mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what do you hope for right now well, I hope that this, um, right now there's a, a hearing going on and there's a chance that this case may be dismissed. I hope that happens so we can be spared all of the stress of a jury trial. If that doesn't happen, I hope that Josh is exonerated. He has been falsely accused and I think that the evidence will show that. And then I just hope that he leaves Orange County because he's got a target on his back. And he needs to get out of Orange County, stay clean, and um, because right now, for the first yep. time in 15 years, I have my son back. All the best to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We did reach out to Brian Goldstein's lawyer, but did not receive a response. Thanks for joining us. We'll be right back.